Hello, it's Amanda, and I wanted to come see you briefly on the topic, and the topic I'm going to briefly be sharing with you today is prayer is key. Now, I stand on, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. In 1 Thessalonians 5, God instructs us in everything to give thanks. He tells us to pray without ceasing here. Now, I'm not here to counsel you just to testify here. This is how believers overcome here. We have a testimony, each and every one of us have a testimony. Prayer is key. That is one of those things that is vital. Like the air we breathe here, prayer is pivotal in every area. In order to experience a supernatural life, it's going to require a degree of prayer here. And anyone can pray here. God is calling us to a place of prayer in every area, in everything that we do. We must become aware that prayer is going to catapult us to the next level of breakthrough. Now we bind up demonic principalities that may be trying to come against us here, including but not limited to uh, mind altering principalities, uh, trying to predict our thought patterns, our speech patterns, interferences of demonic sciences, synthetically configuring figures and pairs, hallelujah, bringing weird and strange judgments against us here. What God requires in prayer is he says, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive and you shall have them. And when you stand praying to forgive here, hallelujah, I don't see anywhere in that reference of scripture here. And you can find that um, in your word here. Look it up. I'm not a theologian or a pastor or anything like that. I'm an intercessor and intercessors are those who pray for others as well as themselves here. A spirit of prayer is pivotal in this next move of what we're going through here globally here locally within the realms of our family and communities prayer is going to be key here so that's all i wanted to share with you today god is a god that specializes in watching over his word to perform it it's going to require our faith here abraham had great faith here oh gosh if i had time i would get into all of that right now but understand that god is the one that is leading and guiding us and he's given his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways I'm so excited to see what God is about to do here. Even in the midst of times where demons are using demonic technologies like the ones that are coming against me right now. Little strikes here. Think about all the things in the world that could be getting delivered here. Child trafficking here. Genocide and terror. Bombings here. But yet that devil is making it its life mission to come after me while I'm encouraging my network here. Stuttering through my words here. My dear friend, if only you knew the level of warfare coming against me. But understand here i don't know what warfare is coming against you we decree and declare that whatever that weapon formed is it shall not prosper the devil shouldn't be fighting me this hard but i'm talking about prayer the one thing that the devil despises because have you heard this prayer changes things i like that mahalia jackson song prayer prayer do 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 changes things do 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 i know prayer do 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 changes things I'm telling y'all right now here, if you would take your prayer life to a whole nother level, you're going to see your soul prosper. The people around you, your friends, your families, even your frenemies, were standing in faith for supernatural reconciliations. Hallelujah. God is about to exonerate your name. Learn to pray prayers like this. Deliver my soul from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. God is a God that will do that for you. And even the stutterings, hallelujah, these demonic entities are broken. We decree and declare that we're going forward to everything that God has for us. He gives seed to the sower. He gives bread to the eater here. God is a God that doesn't care what kind of santeria voodoo is coming against you. There's nothing that the witch can do to cast a spell or a hex on you. Hallelujah, because God is a God whose eye is in every place. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. The devil don't like you looking good, smelling good. Hallelujah, getting yourself together. But this is a new day with new mercy. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Don't you bite your tongue, my dear friend. You get into your prayer closet. And when you pray in secret, God will reward you openly. Learn to shut that door. We can pray privately. We can pray corporately here. Hallelujah. Again, I don't want to get too excited on the scope today, but I'm here to let you know that God wants you to open up your mouth and pray. Hallelujah. Why else would he tell us to pray without ceasing? It's something that is vital to the life of every believer here. Hallelujah. I'm standing in faith for whatever your biggest need is, according to God's word and his promises. That God is about to meet that need with no demonic retaliation. And he will restore to us the years 
that the canker worm and the locusts have consumed. When you pray, expect God to deliver here. And if it takes a little longer than usual, understand that when that great prayer warrior prayed here, the archangel said, I heard you the first day you prayed, but I was caught up fighting a principality for 21 days. God not only heard your prayer, but he's going to manifest it with fruit. And wherefore by their fruits, you shall know them. May the Lord add a blessing to the sharing of his word. I'm looking forward to hearing your testimony.